prayers and readings and reflections for Sunday the 21st of February, the first Sunday of Lent. I hope you had a very scrumptious pancake day and I trust that in some way you were able to make Ash Wednesday meaningful for yourself this year. There are resources on the phone line and on the website to help you and hopefully also you have received one of these Abide resource leaflets which has also got suggestions and ideas for you as well. Our readings for this Sunday. We begin with Psalm 25 verses 1 to 9. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. But let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and your love. They are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. But think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he shall teach sinners in his way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Gospel reading today is uh, from the opening chapter of Mark's Gospel. You might remember that he doesn't begin with any account of shepherds or angels or wise men. He begins straight with the hard stuff. And his account of the temptations in the wilderness is typically Mark. It's blunt, it's direct, it has very little detail, but my goodness me, it captures our attention right from the very beginning. So here's our reading. Mark chapter 1, verses 9 to 15. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts. And the angels waited on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let's pray. Almighty God, whose son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your spirit. And as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, your son battled the powers of darkness and grew closer to you in the desert. Help us to use these days to grow in wisdom and prayer that we may witness to your saving love in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, who for our sake didst fast 40 days and 40 nights, give us grace to use such abstinence that our flesh being subdued to the spirit, we may ever obey thy godly motions in righteousness and true holiness to thy honour and glory, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. <laughs>